Today we're going to be looking at numbering stuff with your shell scripts, whether it be files or just generating a list of some sort. And of course, you could have issues uh, with organizing them by sorting them by order. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, so I'm working in Bash here. I'm going to say 4i in. And if I do, uh, I can say 0 dot dot 100. And I'll say do echo dollar sign i done. And it lists out uh, all the numbers. Actually, it's more than overkill for, for that particular command. But let's look at it a little bit more. Let's say I wanted to name a file. I'll call it image, let's do all lowercase, image underscore dot JPEG. So let's say we wanted to create a list or uh, these files of JPEGs. And you can see it generates them nicely in order. We got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way through to 100. But what happens if we try to sort that, have the computer sort it, and we wanted them to be in order? Like, let's say you have all these files and you want to make a video out of them. You got to keep them in order. Well, a lot of programs, if it was trying to put them in order, like piping this into the sort command, you can see that they get a little out of order because it goes uh, image 9 is next to 90, 8 is next to 80. If we go all the way up to the top here, you can see 0, 1, 10, and 100 are next to each other. And then we jump to 11 and go through to 2. So that's not really good to have the files labeled like that. What you want is a leading 0, something like this. Let me clear the screen. We're going to say echo. We want the file name to look like this, image 001.jpg. You know, or depending on how many you have, if you can have more than a thousand, you might want it to be four digits or five digits. So you would start at 000, 0001, so forth and so on. So how do you generate that with a script? Well, instead of using the echo command, we're going to use the print command, or print F command, I should say. Print F, and then we're going to say, okay, in here, we can say image underscore. And instead of typing out the number here, what we're going to do is we're going to say percent sign zero dot two d dot jpeg or whatever your extension is, and that should be a dot. And if I hit enter here, and uh, we're going to want to put a new line character. If we don't put a new line character, you can see it ends up on the same line there. So we're going to put a new line character, and as you can see, uh, we get image zero zero dot jpeg. And if we want it to be three zeros, or three digits, I should say, uh, we can change that to a three. And if you're going to go over a thousand, but other 10,000 with your numbering, you might want four. Okay, so that gives us our zeros. How do we input our number? Well, we put it after our quotations. So we got print, print this out. And basically we're saying right here, this is, think of this as like a variable, it's saying it's going to be a four digit number. And if you don't tell what number it's going to put zero, but outside the parentheses, if I say one, we now get zero, 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 one. And again, if you want only three digits, you can say we want it to be a three digit number. Or if you want it to be a five digit number, five digit number. And it's whatever number you put out here. I can go two, I can go three, I can go eight. If I go 10, you can see it's still only five digits which is exactly what we want. So let's put that into a loop and check it by sorting it, just like we did earlier with the echo command. Control L to clear the screen there. So again, I'm going to say 4i in, so we're creating a variable, and that variable is going to loop through from 0 to, we'll say 1,000. This Well, we'll start off with 100. And we're going to say do printf, which is similar to the echo command, but has some different functionality. We're going to say image, uh, and we're going to say percent zero dot two D for a two digit, but really we're going up to a hundred, so we want it to be three digits. And we'll say dot JPEG. And if we were to give it a new line character and say done now, it's just gonna say image zero 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 dot JPEG for all of them. So what we need to do, clear the screen again, is again outside our quotations here, put our number, but in this case our number is our variable, dollar sign i. I'll hit enter now, and you can see we get 0 through 100, great, same as we did with the echo, but now let's try to sort it by piping it into sort, and we get the same output. The numbers are in order as they should be. Now if we do give it a bigger number than a three digit number, so let's say we went to 1000, or even 2000, 
we do have an issue there sorting. Let's take the sort command away. So even if you put a bigger number than the digits you tell it, that's great. It, will, it won't crash or anything like that. But we have some four digit numbers and some three digit numbers. So be sure to set this variable to the maximum number of digits in the number that you're going to input. So if you're going to be doing anything in the thousands, you're going to want it to be four digits because 1,000 to 9,999 is four digits. I'm going to set this back to 1,000 for now. We'll hit enter and you can see, well, I'll do it again with 2,000 and we will sort that and now they are sorted properly. So that's the key right there is to put the correct number of digits that you want. So that's it, that's it, that's numbering files or creating a number list with leading zeros. So uh, let's um, sort that and less it. And you can see that we have 0000, 000, 000 001. And if we were to keep going down the list, we have our leading zeros, then we hit 1000 right about there. Great, you know, that's exactly what we need. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Again, I think my Patreons over at uh, or my patrons over at patreon.com forward slash melx1000 for sponsoring this video and choosing uh, Bash videos for this month's topic. Uh, and the shell script tutorials, uh, I hope you find them useful. If you do, please visit filmsbychris.com. Think about supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash melx1000. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. I would like to take a moment to thank the following patrons who made this video possible by supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash middlex1000. Any scripting language, uh, Python, Bash, okay. is really I am that. not bashing Bash. No, okay? I know you're not, and I'm, I'm not bashing C. Obviously, I'm I just... <laughs> use Bash more than I probably use C. Right. So, you but know, my point, though, is, <laughs> is that you are 100% right. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000.